Pray for us while we gather the sheep. Cause there's a war going on outside right here in Babylon. Pray for us while we out in the streets. Cause these heathens hating on us and they praying on our downfall. Pray for us cause we catching the heat. What's beef? Beef is when prophets teaching in the streets. Pray for us cause we the poor on the meat. The last shall be the first and the first shall be the least. Those missiles drop and hell gets hot. Your block gets rocked and aftershock. The houses that they take shelter in is caskets are bankers, doctors, astronauts. Is afterthoughts. You burning up in Sodom, chasing afterthoughts. Writing a check, your ass couldn't cash. Throwing a stone in a house built with glass. Chasing cash, that paper ass. For the love of all, you sell your ass. I hate that math. Those wages, death. Those rates is trash. I hate to have a place in bad to sell. Yeah, take that off. I want you. I want you to listen to this verse. Please, take it off. Pay close attention. Read. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. A plague is a sickness, a disease. Go ahead. Have a plague upon the head or the beard. Then the priest shall see them. Uh, upon the head or the beard. So it's talking about your hair. Breathe. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair. A yellow thin hair. If the plague has a yellow thin hair, that's blonde. Do what? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Now, here's the question. Were you born with blood here? No. You went to the store and told them to bleach it for you. So that means what? You envy your oppressor. That's right. That's right. Bring it up. Because you saw your oppressor with blood hair, you says, says, okay, where did you see it? You like it from where? You just came out of your mama's belly and was like, no, mama, I love blood hair. I want blood hair. Yeah, Are you what? Hair about you, are, you, know, you got your little Barbie dolls you've been playing with since you was a little kid. You've been indoctrinated to do what? To love the oppressor's way. Let's be honest. You had dolls when you was a kid? You were born, uh, born in Haiti or born here? Born in Haiti. When you was born in Haiti, right? How many dolls did you have? Little Barbie dolls, how many of them do you have? Like a, a, a ballpark thing. If it's none, it's none. If it's five, it's five. All right, okay, we go with five. How many of them were black with kinky hair? Yeah. Zero, zilch, none. Right. What about yeah. you? When you was younger, you had Barbie dolls, right? Nah. Wait, when I came here, yeah. When you came here, so you had Barbie dolls. How many of them were black with kinky hair? So they all your dogs were black. So all of them had straight hair. Yeah. Exactly. That's why you have straight hair today. But that's not your real hair. You follow? Yeah, I so, hair. So, <laughs> so a yellow thin hair, Bible says what? It's unclean. So remember, it's about keeping God's laws. To not transgress against God's law, right? Go back to Proverbs 3.31. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Yeah. Envy thou not the oppressor. Do not envy your oppressors. Read. And choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. He, the oppressor got blonde hair, you choose to put blonde hair. So guess what? Keep your hair natural, sis. Get that, because you, you know what you just did to your hair. You know you killed your hair, right? There you go. So what, think about this. If you was internally, would you put something internally that's gonna kill you? It's the same thing you did to your hair. That's self-hatred. You see what I'm saying? Because what you didn't know is, give me Maccabees uh, 14 or 13, the author of beauty, 14. Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 13, there you go. Wisdom of Solomon 13. I'm going to show you something. This is what you didn't understand. When you understand that God is a black man just like you, would you ever want to look like anybody else? No. This is what brainwashing has done to us in our slavery. Because our oppressor brainwashed us in making us fit. White is pure, white is uh, great, and black is evil. What is the color of angels' fruitcake? White. 
What is the color of devil's fruit cake? Chocolate. Those things affect you mentally. When you go online and you Google Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, God, Christ, all greatness come white. So when you look at yourself, do you see greatness? No. So therefore, to be great, you aspire to be white. You know what I'm saying? That's why you cop. Hey, hey, hold up. I got a question. Don't run. I'm not running. I'm just in the So here's a question, and I need an honest answer. How many of you guys have ever said, you know, I would love for my for me to have a kid that come out light skin with good hair. Let's be honest, don't lie. <laughs> How many of you had a grandmother that used to comb your hair and tells you, man, I wish you had the, uh, some good hair and yank in your hair? See so you laughing? Bring it out. It's the truth. Because why? She was indoctrinated. Right. In thinking, White man's hair is the good hair, and your hair is the bad hair. Right. But let's yeah. let's see what the Bible has to say. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter thirteen and verse three. Yeah. Yeah. With whose beauty, if they be of the light, it took them to be God. Focus. They're not focused. Read it again. With whose beauty, if they be of the light, it took them to be God. So the key, uh, the key word is beauty, right? It took other things to be gods because they're delighted by their beauties. Read. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Let them know how better the creator of those things that they take to be God is. Read. For the first author of beauty. Now, for the first author of beauty. The done that a top shot of beauty is what? For the first author of beauty has created them. Now, the first author of beauty is what? God, right? You yes, right? Let's see what color was God. Let's see, because he said the first author of beauty had created them. So if it's the, if it's the, uh, um, how you say, the key figure to look upon for beauty, then let's see what the Bible says the beauty is. Read. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Okay. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Stop. The ancient of days is who? The most high God, because he was, he was before days. That's right. Before there was a calendar, he was. And then he said he did sit. For God to sit, he needs what? What do, what do you used to sit? Your buttocks. So God has a there, yeah. You know that word. Like, Ooh, he's speaking French. Eh? <laughs> Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow? He was wearing a white garment. For you to put a garment on, you need what? A body. You with me? Read. And the hair of his head. Like the pure wool. And the hair of his head. Like the pure wool. That's right. Your hair right now is the pure wool. Right, right. Because you Google right now, wool, the, the, the uh, a, a sheep's um, skin, that fur looks just like your hair. So God had woolly hair. Right. That means who has woolly hair on this planet? Black people. Right. Have you right. known that ever since you was a kid? You think you were trying to damage your hair? Yeah. Knowing that you look like God? Right, right. Give me revelation. God had a son named Christ, right? Let's see what Christ looked like. Teach him. Bring it out. What, you, what you're learning today is that you've been lied to your whole life. Right. Why? Because you've been taught by your enemy. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Read. His head. And his hair were white like wool. So Christ, you saw that verse one, so they know exactly that we're talking about Christ. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which means what? The revealing of Jesus to Christ. is revealing to you what Christ looked like. Read. Verse 14. Uh-huh. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. His head and his hair were white like wool. So wool usually is what? A lot of times they're, they're white. And, it's, and the texture is what? Woolly. That means what? Kinky just like your hair. So the Bible said his head and his hair were white like wool. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes were as a flame of fire. He had red eyes. Why? Because the prophecy say what? His eyes shall be red with wine. Christ drank wine, but he was not a he was not a drunkard. When you drink wine, what happens to the white of your eyes? It turns red. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. 
What color is brass? College education. Which school you go to? Who? Bunker Hill. That's a college or university? College. You finish school, you, you don't deal with school, you work in making your own money. She got five businesses. She's like, I'm not oppressed. So hold up, what color is brass? B-R-A-S-S, -S. school is in session. Step aside. You see this big piece of metal right here from the bank? What color is that? Brown, that's brass. So it says Christ's color was the eyes brass. That's right. So who's that white man you grew up with? That's another question, read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, this is where you get offensive. I'm sure I, I put, well, I, I'm not gonna bet, but I'm 99.99999% you burnt white rice before. You thought you could cook and you went home, got a little rice and everything, and then what happened? T tell them what happened. What happened to the rice? <laughs> it got burnt. You have done the same as well, right? Although the, the, uh, the rice was white, when it got burnt, what color it turned to? Black. That's how it really got there. <laughs> bun bun. You follow? So if, what, if white rice that get burnt turned black, what color is brown rice, uh, brass that got burnt? Black. Anything you burn turned black. So what color was Christ? It was a black man. So now here's the question. Go back to Malachi 27. So if Christ is black, and you go to church, and the priest is supposed to be teaching you what? Read that again. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So if the priest's lips should be teaching you knowledge, why is it that the priest never taught you what's written in the book of Revelation 1, verse 14? That's right. Because I'm not too educated or nothing, but from last time I checked, it takes a few years for a priest to become a priest. Read out. And they go to school to learn the Bible. So you mean the priest never read Revelation 1, 14? Bring it out. Are you with me? I'm gonna tell you why the priest never taught you that. It's not because, give me um, Leviticus 26, I believe 17, them that hate you. I'm gonna show you why the priest never taught you that Christ was a black man, just like that man walking by him, right? Sir, did you know Christ was black like you? Sir, sir. Did you know that Christ was a black man just like you? Yeah. Our people don't care to know. But you, you, today's your day. You see how many people walk by? But you got to stop, right? Because there's something in you that tells you, you know what? I need to hear this. And so far, what have you heard? You've heard things that you never heard in your life before. Things that can keep you from getting what? Burnt in a lake of fire. That's right. right. Do you guys want to get burnt? You follow? You don't even want to eat hot food and burn your mouth. Am I lying? Because when you burn your mouth, what happens? You be like, oh. you start singing opera. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so nobody want to get burnt. So we're teaching you those things to try to help you understand. So the question was is, was if the Bible said Christ is a black man and the priest's lips, lips were supposed to teach you those things, why he didn't? I'm gonna show you why. Read that. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. And I will set my face against you. So God said I'm gonna set my face against you. Because why? We disobey God's Lord. I won't. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. And you shall what? You shall be slain before your enemies. You shall be slain before your enemies. Did our enemies kill us? No? Bring it out. What happened in Haiti? On the Rochambeau? On the Columbus? What happened? You you read the uh, Haitian history? They used to bury us, pour honey on our head, and let the ants come and eat us. Right? They used to take a pregnant woman, Rub raw meat on her belly, tie her up, and let loose the dogs. You was born in Haiti? So you, what uh, what grade were you when you left Haiti? Second grade? Oh, back in the face, but I But she left what? Half the years? Oh. Okay, but you know a little history. All right, go ahead. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you 
shall reign over you. Uh -oh. We think the white man is our friend. The Bible says, they that hate you shall reign over you, shall rule over you. That's right. Now, who's ruling over us? The other nations. So the Bible says what? They're not our friends. So now, this, this is why you understand why they're not teaching you that Christ is a black man. Because if you learn that Christ is a black man, you're going to learn what? To love yourself. You follow? You're gonna, if you learn that the Israelites are black people, you're going to appreciate yourself more because now you find yourself in the Bible. Right. So what they did what? They teach you wrong things to make you love them and hate yourself and hate your people.